Flattish day, uh, flattish open, but remember, we're closing out the month on the flattish side, but uh, the reopening story is very real. Take a look at the sectors. Not a lot to write home about. Retailers, uh, nice open, despite Nordstrom's disappointment overall. Uh, industrial still up. Tech's on the flattish side uh, right now. Uh, but that's been the story throughout most of the month here. If you take a look at some of the uh, the other sectors out there, the retailers are kind of mixed this morning. So, for example, Nordstrom was a real disappointment on the numbers, and they didn't raise their guidance. Now, remember, Macy's raised some guidance, Kohl's raised some guidance, and they've had an amazing year. Macy's up 60 percent or so. Kohl's has also uh, been flying. It's probably up 40 percent. Nordstrom, not so much. So uh, not all the retailers are winning, but in general, it's been a great 2021 for the retailers. That XRT, which is the equal weight ETF, doing really well. Uh, most important thing for the markets uh, in May, the Fed started talking about tapering. You heard Mary Daly on our air on Closing Bell yesterday. She said, we are talking about talking about tapering. She said it. There you go. That's what you want out of us. And she was absolutely right. So no tapering yet, no rate hikes. Daly still believes inflation is transitory. But the bottom line, what's really important here is they're talking about it. Now, what happened yesterday while she was on the air for the markets? Nothing. No moves in stocks, no moves uh, in the 10-year yield, still below 1.6 percent. In other words, this whole talk that the Fed's behind the curve, we're going to fall behind, then they're going to have to get aggressive all of a sudden. So far, that story is not playing out. The Fed is holding everybody's hand and saying, we're starting the process of crossing the street. Kids, hold our hand and follow us. And so far, it's working. Heaven knows they could miscommunicate down the road, but so far it's working. Take a look of, as mentioned, flattish for the month, but the value stocks, the reopening plays, and particularly anything commodity, material related this month has been on fire. So the new core, Schlumberger's, now you sort of broad swat, you can call them commodity stocks, whatever you want to call them, all doing really well. These are off of their highs. They reached their highs earlier in the month, but still pretty great month. The mega caps are sort of on the flattish side. Um, NVIDIA uh, is up a little bit. Uh, some of the other uh, chip names are down like AMD, but flattish, as you can see, in mega cap tech and the, uh, the FANG names uh, overall. Meantime, we're closing out the month with a few nice IPOs, folks. we got ZipRecruiter right here behind me. There's a bunch of people down here on the floor, folks, actually standing around. This, of course, is a direct listing. So uh, $18. We don't know if that's good, good or bad or not. I heard numbers a little higher towards 25 for ZipRecruiter. But nonetheless, it's going to happen today, this morning. And we got a nice crowd on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. We've got some other IPOs down here today. Paymentus Holdings, which is a bill payment technology company, uh, they priced at the high end of the range. They're $21. The price talk was 19 to 21. I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, NASDAQ's got an IPO, too, here. Flywire, uh, Flywire Corp., which does global payments. Look at this. They priced, not only priced at the, high, at the high end of the range there, $24, they raised the terms, 10.4 million shares. The price talk, uh, 8.7 million shares. Uh, and uh, Carl, there they are, right there behind me. A nice group of people standing on the floor. It's hard for us to see because we don't have the camera on the floor. But bottom line is, there's people there. I'll go over and check that out. And uh, I sure am looking forward to seeing the three beautiful faces of my friends down here very soon. Guys, <laughs> back to you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.